question, Virginia is absolute, absolutely correct. There is no turning back. DEPG is going to make this project happen because of all the support that we have received from so many people. Um, today is a big day for the future success of Coastville Gateway. Um, the parking, we all know going to the shopping centers and downtowns, how important it is to find parking. Uh, and what the community uh, revitalization grant is giving to this project is the ability to have that parking be, be accessible. And that is really very important for our project. Um, and I want to thank the commissioners, Terrence Burrell, Kathy Kazoon, and Michelle Kickline for your vote of confidence in moving forward with this grant for us. Our project is going to include 30,000 feet of retail, uh, including two theme restaurants, uh, over 45 market rate apartments, and it will be the start, along with the, tr the upgraded train station, of other development to occur here in the city of Coatesville. Um, the support, as I said before, from uh, everyone has just been tremendous. And I want to give a special recognition to City Council of, of Coatesville, uh, headed by Linda Lavender Norris, for the tremendous support that they have given us in order to propel this forward, and especially with this grant. Uh, we're going to be doing this parking garage in partnership with the city, um, and it's definitely going to happen. Uh, our timing is we're moving forward on all aspects of the property, uh, environmental cleanup, leasing, approvals, financing, and we're projecting a ribbon cutting, so mark your calendar for sometime next fall. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, to excuse me, I have a bad cold, but uh, getting back to Regina, people wonder why I call Mr. Lewis, Mr. Regina Horton Lewis, but uh, I think you found out today. <laughs> what can I say? Chester County, a great place to live, work, retire, and sweat. So we can add that to the uh, county website. Um, I can't say enough about the county commissioners, about the way this county is run. We couldn't do it without Chester County. This man right here, Terrence Farrell, has been a supporter of Coatesville for a long, long time, equally as long as Cassie Cazone. They have done a tremendous job. Michelle Kickline is just coming on board. She has been equally supportive. Everybody is supporting Coatesville. There's a buzz in the air. And when was the last time we saw this? It's been a while. It's been a long, long time. But uh, we want to thank the county for everything that they have given us. We'd also like to thank Mr. Kapetris and his group for coming in because he's the first one that, as you say, crossed that line. You know, come on in, the water's fine. We welcome anybody else that wants to get involved. Of course, the Houstons have been involved in Coatesville before the turn of the century. We thank them and all their support that they've given us and all the other non-profit organizations out there that have stepped up in the time of need for the city of Coatesville. Thank you, Stan. You're doing an outstanding job. We can't thank you enough. All the nonprofits, and I've forgotten anybody. Um, I apologize, but uh, thank you very much, and uh, I'll be brief at the time. We want to get out of here. Thank you. So another public part of our job as commissioners is to present the big checks, and these are big checks in several ways that illustrate our investments. So while we're doing the presenting and taking photos, I recommend that you take a further look at the legend property plans and the new senior center plans. But while we're still together, I'd like to take this opportunity to note the next big Coatesville Centennial event. Heritage Day on October 17th will be a day long family. It begins in Lucan's historic district. It continues with activities, programs, and exhibits throughout the downtown area. It even includes the chance to see the new senior center in the last phase of its refurbishment. And if you want to know more, I'm sure Francis Sheehan, Sheehan and other members of the Centennial Committee who are here today would be happy to talk with you. 
or even sign you up to volunteer. Thank you all for your time this afternoon, and we look forward to meeting and talking with many of you after our photos for as long as you can manage this. Thank you very much for attending. Thank mm -hmm. you.